Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing JavaScript type casting. We understood that converting one type of data value to another type is called as type casting. There are two types of type casting, implicit type casting and explicit type casting. If required, JavaScript engine automatically converts one type of value to another type. It is known as implicit type casting. Implicit type casting is done by JavaScript engine that is the browser itself. Implicit type casting is considered as safe casting. While performing implicit type casting, we don't lose any data. There will be no loss of data. Whereas explicit type casting is considered as unsafe. While performing explicit type casting, we might lose some data. So we should be very careful. If we are performing explicit type casting, we should check whether we are losing any data. Explicit type casting is done by programmers. Let's discuss explicit type casting in this video tutorial. If required, programmers can also convert one type of value to another type. It is known as explicit type casting. For explicit type casting, we use built-in functions. They are parseInt function, parseFloat function, eval function. First, we discuss parseInt function. ParseInt function converts a given value to an integer number and returns back. If not possible to convert, then it returns not a number value, NAN. NAN means not a number. For example, if the given value is of integer type, then it returns a number as it is back. Let's see the demonstration. I go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to JavaScript type casting. In the body section, we have already written opening script and closing script tag. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to JavaScript type casting. I go to the notepad. Here I say parse int. Parse int function accepts a value. I give here 24. We know that 24 is an integer number. What parse int does means it returns this 24 as it is back because uh, it is already an integer. If I say document dot write to the document dot write, we give parse int function to the parse int function. We are giving 24. It returns the value 24. That is a number file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we are getting the output 24 it's a number type next if we give an expression like 12 plus 12 what browser does means first it evaluates 12 plus 12 it gives here 24 then the 24 will be given to the parseInt function the parseInt function returns 24 back and we get the output 24 that's a number let's see that here i say document dot write to that i give parse int function and there i write 12 plus 12 bracket bracket semicolon here we get the output 24 and also i say here document dot write i write a break there semicolon remember that this is how the ev expression evaluates first this expression is going to be evaluated left hand side a number right hand side a number so plus operator works as an addition it uh, adds both of the numbers and puts here 24 then the parseInt function gives the 24 back to the document dot write document dot write will display the 24 on the screen so we get the output 24 remember that so here i say parse int 12 plus 12 bracket close demo file save go to browser and refresh we got the output 24 so if we give an integer value or an expression resulting to an integer number we get that integer number back similarly what happens when we give a float type of value if the given value is of float type then it discards the float part and returns the integer part of the number you can see here to the parseInt function we are giving 3.142 it's a float number right it's a real number. What parseInt function does means it discards 0.142. It discards the floating part. It only returns the integer part that is 3. Let's see the demonstration. 
I copy this line, paste here. I paste one more time. To the write function, I give parse int. To that, I give 3.142 bracket. Now, what parse int function does? It discards 0.142. It returns 3 to the write method. So, write method displays 3 on the screen. Let's see that. I say here parse int 3.142 bracket close. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are getting 3, not 3.142. So, parse int function returns the integer part. I copy this line, paste down. I copy this line, paste down. Now, what if, if we give an expression? Here I give 1.6 plus 1.6. We know that left hand side we have a float number, right hand side we have a float number plus operator works as an addition operator. When we add 1.6, 1.6, we get the result 3.2. As it is a parsint function, it is going to discard 0.2. Then it returns the 3 to the write method. So we get the output 3 on the screen. Let's see that. I say here parse int 1.6 plus 1.6 bracket close file, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are getting the value 3. It's a number type. It's an integer type. Now we understood what happens when we give an integer type value, what happens when we give a float type value to a parse int function. If the given value is of string type, then what happens? If the given value is of string type, then it tries to extract and return the beginning integer part. If string passed to the parseInt function does not begin with the integer, then it returns not a number value. You can see here, to the parseInt function, we are passing 2, 4 string. What parseInt function does means, it returns 2, 4 as an integer. That is, it returns 24 back to us, which is going to be a number type. Let's see the demonstration. I copy this line, paste down. I copy this line, paste down. To the parseInt function, I pass 24. What output we get? We get here 24. So parseInt function accepts a string value and returns an integer number back to us if it is possible to convert. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got 24. 24 is actually a number type. It's not 24. You can uh, Use the type of operator if you want to see the result. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that it is displaying number, right? So, parse int function is actually returning a number 24 from the string 24. Let's see more examples. What if we give 3.142 as a string to a parse int function? We get the output 3. Let's see the demonstration. I copy this and paste down. Copy this line, paste down. Here I say 3.142. Now we are giving to the parseInt function 3.142. What parseInt function actually does means it parses the given string from left to right. It actually parses the given value from left to right. It checks whether the first character is a number. Yes, it's a number. Whether the next character is a number. No. If it finds a character which is not a number or a digit, then onwards, it will discard all the characters. Then what parseInt function does means it converts this given or evaluated number to an integer number and returns back that to the write function. So we get the output 3 on the screen which is a number type. Let's write here parseInt to that I give a string that is going to be 3.142 file save go to browser and refresh, we got the output 3 there. Similarly, we can see more examples. Here we are giving 24 some text, a string. Let me copy these two lines and paste down. Here I say 24 some text. Now what parseInt function does? It parses the value from left to right. It checks whether this is a digit, yes. Whether next one is a digit, yes. Whether next one is a digit? No, it is an alphabet. So it discards the remaining characters. Now we have a string 24 in a parseInt function. What it does, as I told, it converts the string 24 
to number 24 and gives it to a write function. We get the output 24 on the screen. Let's see that. I say here parse int in double quotation 24 some text double quotation close. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got the output 24. That's what I told here that it tries to extract and return the beginning integer part. So this part is an integer part, right? It is returning us 24 as a number. One more example we see. Here we are passing to the parsing function a string 2 plus a string 4. What output we get? We get 24. How? Let's see the demonstration and understand. I copy this code, paste down. I say here string 2 plus string 4. Now, what browser does means, first it evaluates this expression. Left hand side is string, right hand side is string. Then what plus operator does? It concatenates both of them. So, 2, 4 is the final result. Now, to the parsing function, we are giving a string 24. It converts that 24 to an integer number 24. And right function displays that on the screen. Let's see the demonstration. I say here, parse int I give a string 2 plus string 4 bracket close file save go to browser and refresh you can see that we are getting 24 let's see one more example what happens if we give a string 2 plus string 4a let's see the demonstration I copy this try to understand friends it's easy here I say 2 and a now as we have left hand side a string right hand side a string then what plus operator does? It concatenates both of them. The final result is going to be 24a. We are giving a string 24a to the parseInt function. What parseInt function does? It tries to extract and return the beginning integer part. It checks whether the first character is digit, yes. Whether the next character is digit, yes. Whether the next character is a digit, no. So it discards that. To the parseInt function, now we are giving 24. So this 24 is going to be converted to an integer given to the uh, write function. It displays 24 on the screen. Let's see that. I'm going to copy this code and paste here. I say here A. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We are getting the output 24. I think now you are understanding. What if we give 2A and 4A as a string? to the parsing function. I copy this and paste down. Here I say 2a 4a. What output I get? I think you already know. Left hand side a string, right hand side a string. So plus operator works like a concatenation operator. It concatenates both of them. The final result of that expression is a string 2a 4a. What parsing function does? It tries to extract the first integer part. So here it checks whether the first one is a digit, yes. Whether the next character is a digit, no. So it discards all the characters. Now we have a string 2 given to the parseInt function. So what parseInt function does? It converts that 2 to an integer, gives it to the write function. We get the output 2 on the screen. Let's see the demonstration. I copy this code, paste here. Here I add a. File, save, go to browser and refresh. We got the output 2 on the screen. One more example we have here some text 24. If we give some text 24 what browser does? Let's see that. I copy this code paste down. Here I give a string some text 24. Now what parsing function does means it checks whether the first character is a digit. No. So it discards everything. As it discards everything we have an empty string. It is not actually a number. So it returns an output not a number on the screen. Let's see that. So I say here some text 24. File save, go to browser and refresh. We got not a number. We can see more examples. I can copy that. I paste down. If I enter in the middle somewhere 24. Now here also you can see that there is no integer part in the beginning of the string. So it returns not a number on the screen. File save Go to browser and refresh. We got not a number. What if we give a boolean value? We can copy this. 
and paste down. If I give here true, it's a boolean value, right? Now true is not a number, it's a boolean value. So we get not a number output on the screen. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that we are getting the output not a number. I hope you guys have clearly understood what parsint function does with respect to different types of values, how it works. When you are performing explicit typecasting, as I told that, it is unsafe. If you are converting 3.142 to an integer type, you are losing some data, right? It is discarding 0.142. You are, you are having a loss of data there. That is not a good idea. When you are adding two numbers, 1.6 plus 1.6 and giving it to a parsing function, you are getting 3, not a 3.2. You are losing 0.2 data, right? That's the reason we say explicit typecasting is unsafe. You should be very careful while performing explicit typecasting so that you should not lose any data. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. In the next video tutorial, we discuss more on explicit typecasting. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. See you in the next tutorial.